pam 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 As a neurosurgeon at the University of Illinois College of Medicine in Peoria, I have a very unique experience of working with medical students, our residents, uh, our fellows, and also being intimately involved in research. I think from an academic perspective, uh, it's, it's very important to be involved in all aspects. It's actually quite exciting. Like if you think about it, it's a dichotomy between uh, thinking and doing. And I kind of divide it into stages, although we're always thinking and doing, especially as, as neurosurgeons. Um, we split up how medical school is. We think of pathophysiology, uh, and we, we learn to think as physicians, differential diagnoses, and, and ordering tests, and ordering tests that have an impact on what we subsequently do. As we move into residency, no matter what field we're in, we um, apply that thinking to doing, uh, whether that's ordering, ordering uh, sets of labs and medications, or we're rounding on patients, or we're operating upon patients. And I get to see that whole spectrum and I get to impart my knowledge on these uh, very important uh, individuals that will advance our medical uh, field. Um, so it's quite exciting, especially with our residency of 10 or 11 residents every year. We get to train them from ground up. Uh, we see the thinking evolving into doing and, and the kind of the hybrid uh, and eventually developing full uh, neurosurgeons. They also, the, the unique thing that we have at the University of Illinois College of Medicine in Peoria is our research. Uh, we have a very uh, developed basic and translational research laboratory in molecular neuro-oncology. I work with Dr. Kieran Belpula. And with our high clinical volumes in Peoria between the two medical centers at Unity Point uh, Methodist, as well as OSF St. Francis Medical Center, we're able to translate uh, what we do in the operating room over to the laboratory setting. So we're actually able to transport our laboratory specimens, or excuse me, our surgical specimens, over to the laboratory and experiment upon them to find out how tumors grow, why they grow, and most importantly, how to stop its growth. I think that's a very unique component, and our, our medical students, our, our residents, all get involved in these types of projects, which really help them develop intellectually. And I, I think that uh, being in Peoria, being part of that process, the most important thing, it really, it keeps us strong as clinicians. They always say, if you're able to teach it, um, that is kind of the epitome of really knowing things. And certainly we, we have uh, new things occur all the time. I mean, uh, just the other day, um, you know, I, I had the first complication that I've ever seen and it came out of one of my residents and we really had to think through the problem as it occurred. And, you, and it was a very routine type of surgical procedure. And you would think after 20 years and doing, you know, 10,000 plus cases that you would have seen this, but it's certainly the first time. So every day is a new learning experience and it keeps us all intellectually very sharp.